Hello and welcome to one of those again quite a boring tutorials when I just get rid of this functions.h and functions.cpp file actually one more function left which we haven't uh, classified yet I mean put it in the class not classify like classify has get it okay so make this ki uh, init skybox kill skybox and draw skybox into a a separate class, a skybox class, and then we can get rid of these two files because uh, these are in the uh, collision class, these are in the camera class, and what else? The drove cube, we don't need that. Okay, so yeah, this is basically a copy and paste class, so let's get started. Again, start with the inclusion guard, skybox underscore age, and define skybox underscore age. So again, just simple copy and paste the things into ne necessary places. Yeah, I see that I forget the name. So skybox. Okay, it has a it has uh, six sides because cube has six sides. So unsigned in and side. Okay, and or what did I call it in the original file? I go back actually and just see. Okay, uh, here I have an enumeration. Okay, uh, skybox. I call it skybox. That cannot be good since that's the same name. Uh, all right, I will just you know step everything. Uh, I will copy this enumeration though because we might need that. Okay, so I can I think I can place an enumeration right here. Okay, so here I have the enumeration right here. Uh, side we have we should have six sides, and uh, okay, and we have public functions like constructor, which is uh, which can be an empty constructor. Which which can be a constructor with uh, six sides. So I'm finding. Should I pass an array or should I pass one after the other? Mm, it's a good question. I don't know. So let's just uh, uh, pass one by one. So left, then I'm finding right uh, back. Then the next is right. By the way, I just copying this list. Then unsigned in front, unsigned in the top, and unsigned in bottom. So I just pass one by one, and there we go. We are finished. Skybox destructor. Do we need skybox destructor? I guess so. We need since we have to delete those images, right? Free those images. Uh, okay. So uh, what else is? Of course, the draw skybox void. Draw skybox. Right, and it weighs actually a size, so flo float, maybe you should store the size as well right here, so float size, okay, and actually get this size through the constructor, float s, like size. Uh, you know what, uh, I should make these public. I don't care if something, someone just want to accept them, but I don't make a lot of uh, getter and setter functions, not right now. Okay, and draw skybox, and in that case, it doesn't wait any parameter. Okay, and let's make these. Uh, so, first of all, include, obviously, so include skybox that age. By the way, if you haven't noticed, I again work without any, any so without any cheat sheet right here in the other side of my screen. I just work from uh, uh, so just work uh, without actual code so improvising that's the right word I searching for okay I was searching for skybox okay and the last class well function skybox right the empty constructor make the size equal to minus one and make all of the so all of the things in this array so all of the variables in this array I guess uh, to minus one indicating that we have no textures there so it's less than five i plus plus and just uh, side i and make it minus one okay that was simple enough then in here make the side zero to left actually we don't need that enumeration at all I think we can remember that right okay so we don't need that enumeration and uh, just make one two three four five six Okay, one, two, three, four, five, oh, almost. Yeah, no, I got it, got it, got it. Okay, so left, and then copy back, right, front, uh, top, and bottom. And make the size equal to S. So size equal to S. Whew, that was simple. Okay, the uh, this one should be the same as the kill skybox in the functions at CPP. Okay, uh, we will do the textures as well. So skill skybox and this 
simple enough just delete the textures by the way if you're here because of the skybox class we didn't we didn't actually implement the skybox class here as you probably guessed we implement the skybox function as well so side in another tutorial uh, right that was simple enough we just delete all of the six textures and the draw skybox is left which is again copy and paste so copy from the functions at cpp and all of these should be copied in there so control c and just place it right here the only thing i have to do is actually make a new document paste it in here and change the skybox equal to side so swap it uh, or exchange it or change it basically change that's the right word uh, okay and uh, and we can copy this back again to the skybox class so again uh, i only did is just change the skybox into side but not by one by one but using the text editor okay and use the right order so zero and front oh maybe i need that enumeration after all or i can just copy the numbers from right here uh, here i am so okay now i completely lost where is the skybox class here it is okay so the front so the left one back to oh i should use here left one back to front is zero one two three front is three uh okay next one is this uh, the right face right is right is uh, zero one two i just copy these values if you haven't noticed okay sky top the top of the skybox is uh, top 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 uh, back right front top which is five four four i said okay the next one is the bottom of the skybox which is uh, five and there we go did we have every number five four two three zero we didn't have the one did we i don't think so oh here it is is the one okay i think we are pretty much finished the only thing left is to remove this function class and actually load these textures somewhere so i just close that and actually i think i will load that in the game the cpp for so game the cpp file i go here and i load it uh, so make a unsigned int left and just uh, actually load the left so load texture uh, what was it called uh, uh, left.bmp oh by the way i'm not sure that we copied the load texture function from the object loader to here or, or from the function that cpp to here although we have a definition for that so i think we, uh, we first should copy that okay it's not too much fun doing this okay uh, game and load texture and i just copy the load texture from the function class here i have a load texture somewhere in here uh, i'm searching for it here we go just copy this uh, copy and paste uh, there we go this actual comment screw up everything uh, right so we have this load texture function now we can load the textures in the constructor so load texture then i have an unsigned int right uh, let me just type this okay i loaded all of the textures and actually the level will contain the skybox so i have to open that up as well so the level.h and level.cpp and in the constructor uh, now we don't even we don't just give uh so we don't just give these arguments but we actually give the skybox argument so in left then i you know what actually i should have used arrays now it will be a lot of a uh, lot of parameters right three four five six okay l left i do this order, order left back right front left back right front uh top bottom t t b think okay and just create a new skybox right here actually in the level.h file so in the level.h make a skybox pointer so skybox pointer call it sky and in here just create a sky equals new skybox 
and just pass this parameter in order. So L B R F T B. I think that was the order in the skybox class. Left back right front. Left back right left back right front top bottom right. This was the order. And we have to give a size which is I don't know about fifty is good or uh, make it two hundred. That's good, and we have the skybox now, and actually it's a good thing that we have a destructor right here. I told you so, so delete the sky. Perfect. Okay, and in the update function, actually, we, what we will do in the, sky, uh, the update class, uh, I think we don't do anything in, the sky, uh, in here. Uh, we should call the skybox class uh, update so the draw skybox uh, outside so I will make a function which return a skybox get skybox and this is actually uh, in the level function and just return a skybox so return sky so we can go back to the game.cpp file get the skybox from the level and uh, update the skybox in the place where it should be updated okay here we have the skybox and uh, I just make the definition right here as well. So skybox get skybox. Okay, and in the game.cpp file, uh, here where I actually would draw the skybox, uh, somewhere in the show function here, draw skybox. Actually, I will get the current level. So this is level zero at the moment, which would make a variable called current level. And I get the skybox, get skybox and then just use the draw skybox function okay the kill skybox and uh, create skybox or these kind of variable not needed anymore so i just search for them okay uh wait a minute kill skybox this is not needed and uh, create skybox or something like that is not needed either uh skybox in its skybox that's right okay and uh, let's try it i think it's supposed to work oh no wait one more thing is the remaining is whenever we load the level uh level whenever we created a new level so this is the weapon yeah here is the levels actually i move these texture loading uh, above the levels and i pass these parameters obviously so left right so on so left back right front top bottom I think this is the worst tutorial ab uh, among all what do you think <laughs> okay that's pretty boring and we have actually a bunch of errors because we haven't included anything in the skybox class first of all so include gl slash gl dot h gl slash g gl dot h and that should fix some of these okay he this fixed these sky was not declared in the scope level dot cpp 15 15 uh what is in this file level.cpp it's in the destructor so go back go to the level.cpp file and uh, let's see why is uh, is it not no the sky i define the sky probably because it cannot create it the skybox so compile oh that's a lot of problem uh level.h 17 I forget to include the skybox didn't I so I just uh, open up the level.h and include the skybox class right here include skybox.h and now try it again bit better okay and now in the level.cpp we have this long constructor but i forget to copy this constructor definition to the actual uh, header file so that's what i am doing right now and uh, semicolon control s if the control key wants to work skybox.cpp uh, line 5 as s is not declared uh, 5 Oh, right here. This is size, actually. Okay, still having problems. Redefinition of unsigned B in the level.h file. So, B. 
like bottom and uh, back so let's call this BA like back okay and in the level that CPP file similarly as this is BA and left back right okay I think it is compiled let's try to run it and we have the exact same kind of results we usually had except that we used a lot of work in it so we make a lot of things okay now I'm running so that's why my head is uh, so that's why the camera is uh, like go up and down all right that was it that was the longest and most boring tutorial all of this series but thank you for watching if you made it so far and have a great